Good morning, students. So today we will continue with our practice set five. Question number one: Write the place value of the underlined digit. So here you have a number, seven-digit number. And in this, whichever number is underlined, you need to tell the place value of that digit. Just like last time, I told you, if someone, for example, Rohan is sitting on first bench on Monday, and on Tuesday Rohan is shifted to last bench, so Rohan's place on Monday is on first bench, and on Tuesday it is, uh, and on the next day it is on the last bench. Okay, so that is a place, place value. Where are you seated? First, second, third, fourth. Okay. In the same way, you are now they are asking us the place value of the underlined digit. So seven is underlined. So seven is in which place? Let's see. Units, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh. Oh, so seven is in ten lakhs place. So it's very simple. Just seven into ten lakh. Okay. That is equal to. That's right, seventy lakh. Hmm? So the place value of seven in this digit is seventy lakh. It's clear. Now we go for the second sum. Read the number loudly. Fourteen lakh ninety-five thousand two hundred and ten. Fourteen lakh ninety-five thousand two hundred and ten. Let's see where is this digit falling, or where is this digit placed? Okay, four is underlined. So units, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh. So it is in lakhs place. So four is in lakhs place. So four into lakh or one lakh, and the place value it will give us is yes. Four lakh. Okay, four is in lakhs place, so it will give us four lakh. The place value of four in this digit in this number is four lakh. Third one. Read the number. Still, if you are confused, units tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakh. So this is how many digits number? Yes. Six digit number, so three lakh fifty two thousand seven hundred and forty nine. Once more, units tens hundred thousand ten thousand. So five is the digit which is underlined, and five is placed in ten thousands place. Is it right? Yes, three lakh fifty two thousand seven hundred and forty nine. So five into Ten thousand, and that will give us an answer fifty thousand. Okay, so the next one, fourth one, read the number one, two, three, four, five, five digit number. So five digit number means it is how many? <clears throat> So how uh, how many numbers or how many zeros are there in that? Four zeros. Okay. So that is making up to fifty thousand. Read the number fifty thousand. It's very easily read fifty thousand or units tens hundred thousand ten thousand. So fifty thousand. And which number is or which digit is underlined is zero. And zero is in units place. So zero into one units place means one zero into one zero anything into zero is zero always remember thousand into zero 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 into crores zero okay completely zero zeros whatever number is multiplied with it okay so now the next number there you can see nine is underlined. The digit nine is underlined, so let us see what is the number. 
Read the number. That's right. Eighty nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and eighty eight. Eighty nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and eighty eight. And the number nine is. And the number, uh, sorry, digit nine is underlined. Okay, number means this whole thing. Okay, and digit means the one number in that. So nine is underlined, and nine is in which place? Units, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. So nine's place value will be ninety thousand. Yes, you got it now. So nine into ten thousand is equal to ninety thousand. So nine is in ten thousands place. So the digit nine. Has a place value ninety thousand. Is it very clear, children? Look at it once more. First one, seventy-eight lakh ninety-five thousand two hundred and ten. Seven is in ten lakhs place, so it's seventy lakh. Second one, fourteen lakh ninety-five thousand two hundred and ten. Four is in lakhs place or one lakhs place, so four into one lakh gives you four lakh. The place value of four, or the place value of the digit four in this number, is four lakh. Third sum, three lakh fifty two thousand seven hundred and forty nine. The number five, or the digit five, is underlined and it makes a place value of fifty thousand because it is in ten thousands place. Fourth one, fifty thousand. Zero. The number, the digit zero is underlined. So zero into one is zero. So the place value of the digit zero in this number fifty thousand is zero. Last one, fifth one, eighty nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and eighty eight. The digit nine is underlined and it is placed in ten thousands place. So nine into ten thousand gives us ninety thousand. So the place value of nine in this number is ninety thousand. Hope this much is understood. Now the next one. All sums are solved in this question. Now next is the second question. As I've told you earlier, you need to write down. You have to understand the explanation once you are listening to me and understanding. Next, you solve the sums. Copy the sums in your maths notebook. Second one, write the numbers in the expanded form. We have to write the number in the expanded form. So read the number. Now you know to read. That's right. Fifty six lakh forty three thousand two hundred and fifteen. Fifty six lakh forty three thousand two hundred and fifteen. How do we write it? One I've already done for you. Five is in ten lakhs place. Five is in ten lakhs place, so it is five into ten lakh plus six into one lakh plus four into ten thousand plus three into thousand plus two into hundred plus five into one. So once you have written this, multiply and write your answer. This is the expanded form. Fifty lakh plus six lakh. That's making fifty six lakh plus forty thousand plus three thousand plus two hundred plus five. So when you add this, you are going to get this number back, children. Fifty six lakh forty three thousand two hundred and fifteen. Hope it's understood. I'll explain the second sum. Read the number. Yes, that's right. Seventy thousand eight hundred and fifteen. How do we know that? You know, it's by practice. Units, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. So seventy thousand eight hundred and fifteen. So seven is in ten thousands place. So seven into Ten thousand. 
plus you have to put plus because these all numbers are carrying plus when you add you get the number back plus 0 into 1000 plus 8 into 100 plus 1 into 10 plus 5 into 1. So, hope you have understood that 7 into 10 lakh, sorry, 7 into 10,000 plus 0 into 1,000 plus 8 into 100 plus 1 into 10 plus 5 into 1. So, now we need to multiply and write it down. 70,000 plus 0,000 means it is 0,000. So, if you want to write down, if you don't write also, it's okay. Plus, the next one is 800. 8 into 100, 800. Plus, 1 into 10 will be 10. Plus, 5 into 1, 5. Now, you add this number, children, that is 70,000 plus 0, plus 800, plus 10, plus 5. Like last time I told you one sum, if, even if you don't write the 0, it's okay. Not a problem. If you write also, there's no harm in that. So, it's 70,000 plus 0, plus 800, plus 10, plus 5. You add and see if, if your answer is right or wrong, you will get back your main okay, question. That is 70,815, you will be getting it back. Let's go on for the third sum. Okay, read the number. That's right. 8,35,999. So, 8 is in lakhs place. So, 8 into lakh. Plus 3 into 10,000. Plus 5 into 1,000. Plus 9 into 100 plus 9 into 10 plus 9 into 1 because it's triple 9. Okay, 8 into 1 lakh plus 3 into 10,000 plus 5 into 1000 plus 9 into 100 plus 9 into 10 plus 9 into 1. Multiply and write the answer. So that will be. 8 lakh plus 30,000 plus 5,000 plus 900 plus 90 plus 9. Hope you got that. Okay. Have a look at it. 8 lakh 30,000 plus 5,000 plus 900 plus 90 plus 9. Add them. You will get back your number 8 lakh 35,999. Now the fourth sum. Yes, read the number. That's right. 8 lakh 88,889. So let us start with the expansion. 8 into lakhs place. So 8 into 1 lakh plus 8 into that's right 10,000 plus 8 into 1,000 plus 8 into 100 plus 8 into 10 plus 9 into 1. Now, multiply and write that. 8 into lakh. 8 lakh. Plus 8 into 10,000. 80,000. Plus 8 into 1,000. 8,000. Plus 8 into 100. 800. Plus 
एट इंटू टेन एटी प्लस नाइन इंटू वन नाइन होप दैट्स क्लियर चिल्ड्रेन ओके ना फिफ्थ एंड द लास्ट सम इन दैट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू रीड द नंबर नाइंटी टू लैक थर्टी टू थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड नाइंटी टू यस नाइंटी टू लैक थर्टी टू थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड नाइंटी टू सो यो वी गो नाइन इज इन टेन लैक्स प्लीज ओके प्लस टू इंटू लैक प्लस थ्री इंटू टेन थाउजेंड प्लस टू इंटू थाउजेंड प्लस नाइन इंटू हंड्रेड प्लस नाइन इंटू नाइन टेन प्लस टू इंटू वन सो नाउ मल्टीप्लाई एंड राइट डाउन नाइन इंटू टेन लैक विल बी दैट्स राइट नाइंटी लैक प्लस टू इंटू वन लैक विल बी टू लैक प्लस थ्री इंटू टेन लैक विल बी सॉरी थ्री इंटू टेन थाउजेंड विल बी थर्टी थाउजेंड आई एम रियली सॉरी प्लस टू इंटू वन थाउजेंड विल बी टू थाउजेंड प्लस नाइन इंटू हंड्रेड विल बी नाइन हंड्रेड प्लस नाइन इंटू टेन विल बी नाइन्टी प्लस टू इंटू वन विल बी टू रिपीटिंग दैट सिंस एंड स्मॉल एरर अकर्ड नाइन्टी टू लैख थर्टी टू थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी टू सो नाइन इज इन टेन लैक्स प्लेस नाइन इंटू टेन लैख प्लस टू इंटू वन लैख प्लस थ्री इंटू टेन थाउजेंड प्लस टू इंटू वन थाउजेंड प्लस नाइन इंटू हंड्रेड प्लस नाइन इंटू टेन प्लस टू इंटू वन आफ्टर दैट देन वी आर गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई नाइन इंटू टेन लैख विल बी नाइन्टी लैख प्लस टू इंटू लैक गिवस एस टू लैक प्लस थ्री इंटू टेन थाउजेंड विल गिव एस थर्टी थाउजेंड प्लस टू इंटू वन थाउजेंड विल गिव एस टू थाउजेंड प्लस नाइन इंटू हंड्रेड विल गिव एस नाइन हंड्रेड प्लस नाइन इंटू टेन विल गिव नाइन्टी प्लस टू इंटू वन विल गिव एस टू सो वेन यू एड दिस नंबर यू विल गेट बैक नाइन्टी टू लैक थर्टी टू थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी टू होप दिस इज अंडरस्टूड वेरी क्लियरली चिल्ड्रेन I have solved all the sums. You need to copy in your notebook and practice it two two times. So this video, we complete with this question number one and question number two of practice set five. Thank you, children.